Okay, so the 2023 Kentucky gubernatorial election is already heating up um, with uh, the Republican nomination uh, being determined. Um, Daniel uh, Cameron, the current Kentucky Attorney General, will be facing Governor, uh, Democratic Governor Andy Beshear um, in the upcoming gubernatorial race uh, this November. Take a look. Republican voters in Kentucky have picked the state's attorney general, Daniel Cameron, as their nominee for governor. Cameron, who was endorsed by former President Trump, beat rivals, including former U.N. Ambassador Kelly Kraft and Agriculture Commissioner Ryan Quarles. In many ways, the race, <laughs> in many ways, the race was seen as a test of Trump's influence ahead of 2024. Cameron's victory now sets him up to face off against incumbent Democratic mm -hmm. Governor Andy Bashir in November. So so Democratic Governor Andy Bashir is the only statewide elected Democrat in the state of Kentucky currently um, winning in 2019 in what you can call an upset, um, what you can call a surprising victory, actually. I, I actually, going back and looking back at it, I, I'm surprised a Democrat would actually have the votes to beat a, uh, the Republican and a Republican incumbent, if that, because um, Republican uh, Matt Bevin. Uh, was the incumbent. He, he's just extremism. He's, he's literally, um, it's just, you got to be bad. You have got to be bad to lose as a Republican in the state of Kentucky. Um, and this, this is just kind of just explains that for me. Um, but he basically, he's an extremist. He actually, in 2019, uh, I believe, claimed that the election was stolen from him. Um, and it, this was before 2020, where the whole thing with Donald Trump lying and all that crap about the election. Uh, this was before that. He, I believe, he 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 um made false claims about this election. Um, but Andy Bashir uh defeated a Republican incumbent governor in 2019. <coughs> uh, real quick. Um, honestly, it was mostly seen as a toss up. Um, Matt Bevin wasn't really quite seen as a popular governor, and as you, if you can see in the debates, uh, he, he, he performed poorly, um, Matt Bevin. He, he, he was a poor, very poor candidate, and that even proves my point, that he lost in the state of Kentucky. So the latest poll had the race absolutely tied, and the poll before that, which was Trafalgar Group, had, um, the incumbent Republican up by, um, five percentage points. Um, obviously, that didn't happen. Um, Andy Bashir, which I believe was the Attorney General, coincidentally, um, before he was governor, um, and the uh, uh, current Attorney General now, Daniel Cameron, is going is uh, going to be the nominee. So, if we take a look at 2023, here it is. The running mate is is still uh, undecided. <clears throat> I am obviously hoping that Andy Bashir um, wins re-election. Um, he is kind of the bipartisan, common sense guy uh, we need in this country, and, and, and especially for a state like Kentucky. But th this is kind of like an example. Um, he's kind of like just common sense, good for the people. He is a Democrat. He is registered as, as, a, as, a, as a Democrat, but he gets things done not uh, only um, benefiting Democrats, but benefiting the entire state of Kentucky. That's what I like about Andy Bashir, as I've seen about him so far. So I'm really hoping we can re-elect him in, uh, later this year. Um, Daniel Cameron, basically the same same old extremist you have all across the country. Same old MAGA, same old uh, maggot, uh, same old Trumper, whatever you want to call him. Same old crazy. Um, <clears throat> but this is funny, okay? So everybody knows in 2022... Um, Republicans performed poorly. Republicans performed awful. Um, very awful. Um, Democrats did, pulled major upsets in races all across the country. Um, and that was in 2022. Um, <clears throat> and it, look how early it is. And two uh, political predictions already have it as lean D. You know, I think I'm against that. I'm against these uh, predictions putting it as lean D this, this early. As of now, I'd say it's a toss-up as of now. It could very well go either way. Andy Bashir has been seen uh, as, a, as a, a very popular governor for a state like Kentucky, especially because he's a Democrat. Um, and as you know, Kentucky is a very uh, conservative-leaning state. 
Um, and that's really good that Andy Bashir could could appeal in 2019 to those voters who voted for Trump in 2016, but then voted for uh, Andy Bashir. Um, <clears throat> so like like this says in this article, he is focusing on uh, uh, key values, key family values um, in a state like this, values that are kind of bipartisan and just for the people, not necessarily for one political party or another. Um, which is what needs to be happening in more states. <laughs> Look, poop. <laughs> Anyways, um, I, I just saw a fart right here. Um, but uh, hopefully we can uh, reelect him. He's kind of focusing on common sense values and uh, basically, th like I said, things not necessarily for one political party or another. Um, but yeah, he's uh, focusing on the key issues that affect every one of us or every one of Kentuckians. Right here is the Republican primary results, if you want to see it for some reason. Um, obviously, Daniel Cameron gets 49.9 or 49.7 percent of the vote. Ryan Quartet or whatever, Quartles, Quartles, which is probably just another GOP idiot, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> received 21.7% of the vote. Um, Kelly Crapp um, received 17.2% of the vote, which, I mean, I, this was a big thing. I mean, people were kind of, I guess, hoping she would get it. I saw some things of videos on TikTok of Republicans, I guess. But she raised qu quite the bit of much more money, uh, more money than any of them, and spent more, too, um, but became unsuccessful. Uh, she was absent in the debates, which that might have hurt her. But I don't, like I said, I don't care because I'm not a Republican. Um, I'm not an idiot for that matter either. So I don't care. I just care about the general election and winning it and getting things done, more things done um, for the people of Kentucky because he's the best one to represent Kentucky. So it was obviously the, the closest in the hypothetical polling between Democrat uh, incumbent Governor uh, Bashir. Um, and Republican uh, potential uh, challengers, uh, Daniel uh, Cameron became the closest. Um, the rest of them weren't doing good at all. Um, Crap only received 32%. Um, Harmon, whoever the heck that is, received 33% in a matchup poll between Andy Bashir and Quarles um, received 34%. Uh, 5%. Um, Daniel Cameron uh, received 40%, which is a which is still 9% lead for a Democrat. That's, that's pretty bad for a Republican. <clears throat> but like I said, I think I mentioned this in a other video uh, since the midterm elections. So, like I said, Republicans were very um, overestimated in 2022, um, and Democrats were very underestimated. And that's kind of, it's kind of a different pattern shift between other years before that. Like, for example, in 2020, in 2018, in 2016, uh, we've seen Democrats highly overestimated in the polls and actually pre uh, performing uh, more poor poorly in the general election. But that was absolutely reversed in 2022. It was the uh, quite, quite uh, opposite, actually. Um, where Republicans, like I said, were um, expected to win really big, and they lost. Bigly, um, um, they lost uh, pretty bad, um, and Democrats overestimated, uh, or Democrats underestimated, got underestimated and performed better than they uh, than the polls showed them that where they were at. Um, but ever since then, of course, all these predictions are going to start going Democrat. That's how it is every single time. They got it wrong in 2022 because they were biased towards republicans and now it's like way it's really early and they already have it as lean d i mean this is what they're doing this is the games of the predictions i mean these these predictors are stupid um it should be a toss-up all three of these should be toss-up i really hope it goes democratic but they're they're people are they're getting their hopes up by saying it's already lean d we don't know if it's lame D. It's, it's Kentucky. Kentucky's a really Republican state. Andy Bashir was lucky to win last time. Hopefully, it's very possible he wins re-election, and I'm really hoping he does. But it's not lame D, I would say. I'd say, as of now, I'd have it as a complete toss-up. 
especially for how early it is. Um, and, um, I mean, this is kind of expected, though, you know, because if this were in 2022, this, these polling, this polling would probably say it's at lean R, honestly. Um, but it's, but since they, um, underestimated Democrats and overestimated Republicans, they got to start shifting their predictions and, and have it, uh, lean Democratic, um, a, a long time before the election, um, they're kind of switching over, um, which honestly, I think, I think Bashir has the advantage as of now, but I, I wouldn't say it's quite lean D. I mean, I really wouldn't say that, um, at this particular point, I wouldn't say that. Um, I'm, I surely hope it goes for Democrats, but it, it, it's not, it's not, it's not like, oh, it's safely going to go Democratic. No, it's, 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 it's a toss up. I mean, it, it really is a toss up on the presidential level. We've seen Republicans uh, win all over the state of Kentucky, but Bashir is the only Democrat that can manage to win here, which is good. I'm glad he can. Um, but there is a chance, unfortunately, there is that chance that um, Bashir gets defeated in 20, uh, 20 uh, later this year. Um, <clears throat> and I'm really hoping that's not the case. I'm really hoping Bashir pulls out another victory, but um, that could that could very well happen. Um but I'm going to do a quick little prediction of, I'm just to wrap this up, I'm going to do a 2023 governor's predictions and where I stand as of now um, when it comes to the 2023 gubernatorial elections, because there is a couple gubernatorial elections. Um, there's actually three, <laughs> just three gubernatorial elections in 2023. <laughs> three, 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 three. Uh, but yeah. <coughs> So, obviously, here is the three um, states um, up for um, the gubernatorial election this year, the three governor's uh, races, obviously, Kentucky, the state of Mississippi, and Louisiana. So, I mean, in 2019, if I can take a look, this might take 20 years, but, okay, here, this is the 2019 election. Um, gubernatorial elections with these same three states. Obviously, Kentucky was a flip. Um, Louisiana was a Democratic, Democratic hold, which is also a very Republican state, and uh, the current governor, um, John Bell Edwards, is the only Democratic, uh, uh, Democratic statewide elected official in the state of Louisiana. <laughs> and there is, of course, Mississippi, which votes Republican. Go figure. <laughs> it's the lowest in everything. It's literally the lowest, um, is it like highest unemployment? Everything bad is seems to be the lowest on everything is Mississippi and figures. It votes Republican. Figures, my friends, figures. But um, anyways, back to the topic. Um, as of now, Mississippi. I'm gonna characterize that as uh, safe Republican. I don't care what these polls say. Yeah, they're gonna have a Democratic poll leading, but I mean, yeah, it's. <clears throat> that, I, I characterize that as safe Republican, unfortunately. That's just that's just the state of Mississippi. That's just how it is. State of Louisiana. Um, conveniently, uh, John Bell Edwards, which who I was just talking about, is retiring, I believe. Yeah, he is. Uh, I think he's term limited. Does it say? Yeah, he's term limited, and he cannot run for re-election. Um, and obviously, Louisiana is a very Republican state, also. Um, but yeah, this is, this is, this is going to be Republican. This is, uh, I'm going to characterize this, yeah, as safe, as safe Republican. Um, unfortunately, that's just the, the sad reality of it. Um, I mean, John Bell Edwards was the only Democrat that was able to win a statewide, uh, election in the state of Louisiana. And same thing with Kentucky. Andy Bashir was the only Democrat that can win a statewide ele election. Or, hold on. John Bell Edwards was the only Democrat to win in Louisiana, Andy Bashir, the only Democrat to win in Kentucky. Um, and finally, characterization, Kentucky, <clears throat> like I said, um, this is going to be very close, okay, this is going to be very, um, I'm going to be, I'm, I'm going to be really rooting for Andy Bashir. um, hopefully he wins, I hope people, I hope the comments, I hope the voters, uh, understand, um, why he is a better option for the state of Kentucky and realize that he is the better option. 
um, for the state of Kentucky. Um, he's delivered for the state of Kentucky for the past four years, bipartisan, um, common sense issues, uh, kind of family issues, uh, in the whole, uh, through, throughout the whole state of Kentucky. Um, and obviously Republicans going to challenge him because that's just the way it is. Um, obviously endorsed by Trump. So it's a Trump extremist, basically. That's the literally only reason why Dan Daniel, uh, Daniel Cameron won the Republican primary. <laughs> that's the only reason. That's the only reason why he even stood a chance is because he was endorsed by the orange clown. Anybody, I swear, Donald Trump can endor en uh, endorse a piece of sh**, um, and Republicans will vote, vote that piece of shit in for the primary. I mean, Ron DeSantis in, uh, endorsed, uh, endorsed uh, crap. Kelly crap. Um, same with Ted Cruz and some other Republicans, but it doesn't matter. As long as um, Daniel Cameron, uh, Daniel Cameron, got that Trump endorsement, doesn't matter. They're gonna vote for. They're gonna vote for whoever the Orange Man endorses. Like I said, he can endorse a literal piece of, shit and Republicans will still um, nominate that that turd as the nomination. <laughs> it's unbelievable, but it's but it's it's true. It really is. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, I'm getting kind of sidetracked. Um, as of now, I'm not going to I'm not going to um, push it and um, get my hopes up, and then all of a sudden it uh, we fall short in this election. So I'm going to be safe and put it as tilt Democratic tilt. I could see it going lean later as we learn more things. Yet we haven't had the debates or anything yet. It's still pretty early um, to characterize this race um, 100%. Um, but, I mean, honestly, uh, it's kind of a useful tool to look at my predictions. Um, because if you noticed, despite being called a wish caster and all this other crap, um, I was the most accurate 2022 election predictor. Um, I got, I was literally the most accurate, and, and people couldn't believe I was so accurate on the, on my 2022 election predictions. So, I mean, looking at my predictions will be, probably be a useful tool. Um, but yeah, this is my prediction as of now. Safe Min Mississippi, safe Louisiana, and tilt blue, or uh, safe, safe, safe red Louisiana, and safe red Mississippi, and tilt blue Kentucky. But thank you guys for watching this video. Um... Hopefully, we can re-elect um, uh, Governor Bashir in uh, 2023, Governor Bashir, Andy Bashir, 2023. Um, spread the word, spread the message. If you know anybody from Kentucky, um, let them know how important this race is and how important it is to re-elect um, uh, the governor of Kentucky. But thank you guys for watching this video, and goodbye.